Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I think you will agree with me on this one that when it comes to presentation, we are always short on time, right? What if I tell you that PowerPoint AI can now design your slides? Well, I'm sure it does sound unbelievable to a lot of you. So today I'm going to teach you about design ideas, a tool that will help you design PPTs in less than five minutes. And I am not kidding. So without any further delay, let's begin. So let me first show you where the design idea tab is. Click on the home button and you will see the design idea tab on extreme right. Otherwise click on the design button and you will see it at the same location. Now, if you're not able to see it, go to file, click on options. And in general, first category only, you will see this PowerPoint designer tab. Just click on this box that you see and tick mark that button automatically show me design ideas and just do OK. Also to let you know, uh, this is only available in Office 365. Now, the moment you click on it, you will see design ideas on the right side automatically. So I'm going to show you a couple of slides. I have some 10 to 11 slides. So in the first two, three slides, I'm going to teach you what this is and then we are going to make a PPT. Now click on design ideas and you will automatically see design options that is created by PowerPoint for you. So for example, I just, I've just chosen this option by click of a button. Now I can change the font type. I can change the font size and my slide is ready in less than 10 seconds. That's about it. And we are good to go. Now let me show you the difference. In the second slide, I have marketing slide written instead of just title slide. Let's see if we do if we get some different ideas. Well, we do. So it also reads the words that you're putting on the slide. So if you look here, this is a separate layout that I'm getting. And in this one, you also have moving images, which are basically videos. So if you notice, the video has already been made blurred for you, right? So AI can do all of this for you. Let's see other options now. If you don't want the video option, we can choose some other bases, what you like in terms of the design. I really like this one because I think it resonates with marketing word that I have written over here. So I'm going to go ahead with this one. And then we'll move on to the next slide. Now in here, if you see, I've written education just to show you that does the option of design vary? Yes, it does. You can see that there will be few education related suggestions as well. Most of the options remain same, but there will always be options related to what you write. So if you see this one, I think I, I, this one works very well for my uh, presentation. So I'm going to use this for my education slide. I'm going to change the font a bit, change the font type, color and bring it down. Perfect. So now let's start creating a deck, which means that all the slides should be able to relate with each other in terms of design language. So for the, this slide, I have added a picture and a title. So you will see that my picture already is being used in the slides that I'm seeing the slide options and also they are being played with. So this picture, for example, has been made transparent by PowerPoint AI. I didn't have to do anything at all. So let's see which format works for me and then accordingly we'll design the rest of the slides. Look at the options. Wow, I, I think this one looks really nice and you will see that there is again this black gradient at the bottom which is done by PowerPoint. I didn't have to do anything at all. Let's see more ideas. Do we like this the best or are there any better ideas? This one also looks nice, but I think I would prefer this one. Now moving on to the next slide. So this slide has a title and just one line. So you will see all the options are very simple since there's no uh, image to it. These are all different options that I can use for my slide. Since we have to make sure that design language stays same for this presentation, I'm going to go for a similar look and feel. Let's see some more ideas. I think this one looks nice and simple. It goes with the previous 
slide as well. So I'm going to make few changes. Get rid of the bullet points. Increase the font size. And maybe highlight some part that I would want to. By choosing eyedropper. I'm picking the color from the template itself. In case you do not know about eyedropper, check out my videos. It's in the description box. Moving on to the next slide. So it's the same content. All I've done here is I've added an image to show you that what kind of ideas would you get with an image versus without image. So if you see, I have again some beautiful ideas without having to do anything, without having to use any tool. I just have to click and my slide is made by PowerPoint for me. What could be better than that? So I'm again going to go for uh, some design which goes with my entire look and feel. This one looks nice. So does this. Now let's move on to the team slide. Now I have these three people in my team and I again want a slide which goes with my rest of the design language. Look at this. Now without having to put any image in the shape, all these options are for me ready made. And you know, if I create slides like this, it will, it will easily take at least five to seven minutes per slide. Wow, I think this one is pretty good. I think I'm going to go ahead with this one. I'll change the font size and font type and maybe highlight one word. Perfect. I think this looks pretty good. Moving on to the timeline slide. So you can see I have put four years and four milestones that I want to prepare a timeline of. Let's see what PowerPoint has to offer. Now, if you see here, all these options are very different from regular text. There is a proper timeline that has been created. In fact, in few slides, there are icons used as well, which are relevant to my content. Let's see some more ideas. Look at this. Again, icons have been used without having to look for them. You can choose the format that works well for you and for your presentation. I want to go for something simple and neat. I think I like something like this maybe. Let's see. Look at the number of options you have here without having to spend any time on tools or shapes or anything at all. I think I really like this one. So I'm going to go ahead with this. I'll make minor changes maybe. Let's change the title font. And since the timeline, I would create a line in the background so that it seems like one thing moving to the next one. Let's send it to back after changing the color. Perfect. This looks good. If you want, you can change the font of the rest of the content as well. I think it looks great in less than, you know, 15 seconds. Now, if you have two pictures on the slide, this is just to show you formats that if you have two pictures, you are going to get different formats. Let's find out. Look at this. This one is really nice. It doesn't work for my uh, design language. Otherwise, I think it's really great. Let's see what all options do we have. Look at this. Can you see how beautiful this slide looks without having to do any effort in terms of the tools? Let's see which one works best for our presentation. So look at the number of options you have. And each option is different from the previous one. You'll have options from very simple to more complex. Look at this one. I think it's beautiful the way PowerPoint creates slides for you and gives you so many options. This, as I said earlier, this is a new feature. It's in Office 365. So in case you're using a previous or an older version of Office, you might not have the design ideas uh, feature with you. Okay, so now let's find out the one that works best for our design language. I would have preferred this one, but since the, the shape doesn't work for me, I'm going to choose this one. I think this works well in terms of the color, the orientation, layout, everything works for me. I'm going to highlight one word. 
perfect i think this looks very nice now moving on to the next one if you have four pictures in a slide and you want to create a beautiful layout all you need to do is just click on design ideas and you will get some beautiful options now i think i'm going to experiment here a little bit and uh, probably choose a different format again you can you can follow the same format as well if you would like to you will have that kind of option but i think this time i'm going to go for a different one oh wow this one looks really nice let's see some more options if you want a neater clean option you could go for something like this now imagine if you have to create these slides yourself it will easily take you at least 5 to 7 minutes per slide because cropping the image putting it into shape all that does take time so what you could do instead is just click i think this one looks really nice so i'm going to go ahead with this let's make a little bit of changes and we are good to go perfect now moving on to the last slide so this is a basic format with one title i have six bullet points and an image let's see what does design idea offer to us in such cases all right i'm going to just click here wow look at the options this one looks really nice and what you can also do is if you want you can also change image in this one by just right clicking change picture and you can choose some other picture if you want want to change it look at this i think this one looks fabulous if you have to create something like this you would need to know a lot more tools and it will take a lot more time i'm going to show you what all powerpoint can do for you look at this look at the variety of options that you have beautiful I think I'm going to go for this one since I think this one works the best for me and it looks beautiful. So now if you look at my presentation from this one from the slide so first three slide I said were experimental to show you what this tool is. Let's see from here. So my presentation is done in less than 5 minutes. And it, this is not a regular basic presentation. This is a decent design that you can present easily. It's a clean design. and it's an effective presentation so it's as simple to create a ppt using design ideas find it out yourself and experiment with this tool thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed watching this one like share and please please subscribe to my channel i'll be making a lot more videos covering many more topics on various tricks tools and hacks that can save your time and also make your presentation look fabulous